I will now discuss a detailed description of the design and composition of membrane filters. Membrane for children. Membrane filtration is a rapidly expanding field in water treatment. There are many different types of filters available in a wide range of pore sizes and configurations. In addition, there are numerous possible applications for membrane filtration, ranging from the removal of relatively large part of particulate material to the removal of dissolved compounds. Membrane filtration uses in water treatment. Desalination of water to produce portable water remains the primary use of membrane filtration. Filtration of surface or groundwater under the direct influence of surface water. Tighter membranes are used for other applications such as softening or the removal of dissolved contaminants. And the process is used as a pretreatment step in water treatment. There are many different types of membrane filters. These range from microfiltration, which is 0.05 to 1 micron, which is 1 millionth of a metre. This removes materials such as algae, guardia, crypto, bacteria, and clays. Then there's ultrafiltration, which is 0.005 to 0.5 microns. All substances removed by microfiltration, plus the removal of humic acids and some viruses. Nanofiltration's pore size ranges from 0.0005 to 0.01 microns across. This removes all substances the same as microfiltration and ultrafiltration remove, which was algae, guardia, crypto, bacteria, clay, humic acid and viruses, as well as the dissolved metals and salts. Reverse osmosis. The pore size ranges from 0.0001 to 0.001 microns across. This removes all of the above sub substances as well as even smaller dissolved metals and salts than nanofiltration. I'll now discuss a more detailed description of nanofiltration and microfiltration. Nanofiltration is smaller than that used in microfiltration and ultrafiltration but larger than that used in reverse osmosis. The membranes are used predominantly created from polymer thin films. Materials that are commonly used are polyethylene, tetrapolyethylate, or metals such as aluminium. Nanofiltration is a technique that has prospered over the past few years. Today, nanofiltration is mainly applied in drinking water purification process steps, such as water softening, decolouring, and micropollutant material. During industrial processes, nanofiltration is applied for the removal of specific components such as colouring agents. The nanofiltration membrane allows the diffusion of certain ionic solutes such as sodium and chloride, predominantly monovalent ions as well as water. Microfiltration. It is commonly used in conjunction with various other separation processes such as ultrafiltration and reverse osmosis to provide a product stream which is free of undesired contaminants. More macroscopic, atomic or ionic materials such as water, movalent species such as sodium and chloride ions, dissolved natural organic matter and small colloids and viruses will still be able to pass through the filter. Industries which use microfiltration are water treatment plants, sterilization, which is another crucial application of microfiltration membranes. This is within the cold sterilization, sterilization of beverages and pharmaceuticals. Historically, heat was used to sterilize refreshments such as juice and wine and beer in particular, but however, a palatable loss in flavor was clearly evident upon the heating. Similarly, pharmaceuticals have been shown to lose their effectiveness upon the addition of heat. And dairy processing. The microfiltration membranes aid in the removal of bacteria and the associated spores from milk by rejecting the harmful species from passing through. This is also a precursor for pasteurization, allowing for an extended shelf life of the product. Most membrane filters are composed of polypropylene, polyvinyl chloride, polycarbonate, polyester, polysulfone, and polytetrafluoroethylene. There are two main types of membrane filters. 
one that has a sheet of porous material folded around a central rigged porous core. The particles are trapped on the outside while the clean water flows through. This forms a cartridge which can be, which can be placed in a suitable housing mounted or in a water pipe. The other one is a porous material formed into hollow capillaries. Particles are trapped on the outside while clean water flows through. Large numbers of capillaries are bundled together to form a filtering unit with a large surface area. Information and references from nichronic.com slash filtration and lentech.com slash microfiltration, lentech.com slash nanofiltration, ultrafiltration, and easychem.com.au slash monitoring and management.